Good afternoon. This video, I briefly look at a comment left uh, left on my video from uh, Jax Max seventy seven. You know, the scriptures say, "By the fruit you shall know them." It's all my teachers. And look at the language that uh, Jax Mac seventy seven leaves. Here he goes. Here, dead ward, PF one two three is going to get the hell exposed out of him soon. I was going to expose this prick a month ago but was talked out of it because he was purport purportedly dying of cancer. I'm not dying of cancer. I have cancer, but I'm not dying of it. A lot of nitpicking. Hypopunctious uh, loser. Uh, can't pronounce the word too well. He, uh, nitpicking. <laughs> We're arguing about a point of theology. So when you argue about a point of theology, it gets to be nitpicking. Because you argued it, what the argument was was when uh, uh, Arnold, Yankee Arnold, got, put a video up. Eternal security is the gospel. So, and you're talking to a guy who believes. In, I believe in eternal security. Now, Jack Smack seventy seven is going to come on and tell me I'll, he's going to say I'm lost too. Anybody who disagrees with Jack Smack seventy seven is lost. Can't be saved. But this is the spirit these guys have. And they can't say, can't stand the idea of being refuted. His idea is the gospel is, is John 6 47. <laughs> you don't even have to believe in death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's a crossless gospel. So. This is, this is what you get with these guys. I look forward to seeing that now. He's going to expose me, expose this, you know. Nitpicking. It's not nitpicking. If someone puts a video up and says, eternal security, eternal security is a result. It's a result of the gospel. It isn't the gospel. It's a result of the gospel. It comes with assurance. Once you believe, you, you get assurance, and you, and then you get eternal security. The idea that you, you know you have eternal security, uh, and that gives gives you that assurance. Now, when you get saved, that's what that's what happens. You're looking at eternity. You're looking at the idea I'm going to heaven, but you're not thinking about I can never lose it, because that's not into your mind. It's not just not at that point, that's just not what you're thinking about. You're thinking you have heaven. You're going to heaven. Because that was the issue brought up. Where, where are you going to spend eternity? Are you going to spend eternity in hell? Are you going to spend eternity in heaven? The issues of eternal security that you can never lose it aren't brought in your mind at that point. They come up later under the arguments against, well, did you rig it? Saved, and you know, is it possible to lose it? And these things. So, eternal security is a logical corollary of it, of of the gospel. He goes to Chafer, and that's what Chafer said. That's what you know. Chafer so he has the, the, the assurance and the eternal security in that order. But I'll stop with this up. And so, you know, he'll be up there. Screaming, ranting, waving. But that's what you get with these guys. This is their fruit. This, when, when the scriptures say you're by your fruit, you should know. It's something about lordship, salvation, and their works. It's not about teachers. But teachers and how they act. And their disciples, who they put out. You look at the disciples of Kim and Breaker and Jack Smack seventy seven. They all have the same they all have the same spirit. They had they attack people at an hominem. The vision of course the Brian This is this is most up this is this is the fruit of the of ministries of these guys. This is what you see what are these guys producing in the ministries. These are the people I see all the time, breaking people coming over. They're rude, discourage, you know, just, just ad hominem. 
same thing with you know of course blind gang with people same thing now the jack smack people you know basically over the issue of uh, arnold yankee arnold's uh, issue they they attack your speech they attack your your looks they attack your mannerisms they attack this they attack that they don't deal with the issue they say oh you can't deal with things this issue you got to go to the person break a lie about that lie about it. matthew 18 saying you only got to go to the person uh, over personal issues and beliefs no it's not about beliefs Then Jack Smack's going to put a video out how I'm lost. I'm going to go right to hell. <laughs> I'm nitpicking, but I'm going to hell over something, over this issue. So watch for people. He's coming out. And uh, it's sad. It's really sad. Because most of the stuff, the guy's right. And most of the stuff, the guy's right. But he just he's, he's, he's got this thing where... Once he locks into a position, like in John six forty seven, you know that, that oh you know anybody can get saved. You know just all you have to do is you know believe that promise and, and the, the whole Lord. You know he 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 went into Wilkins and and uh, Saint Hodge and he got caught up in that nonsense. Now eternal security is the gospel. Is there somehow people who who don't believe in eternal security could never have been saved? They couldn't be deceived by into heresy? And they say, oh no, when I believed, you know, and these guys believed like 50 years ago, for, I know I was, they don't know what they believe. You, you, you try to remember back 50 years ago when you got saved, something like that. You know, oh yeah, when I was, I was, you know, I mean, I know what I exactly what I believe, you know, I believe in eternal security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an issue. It's a sanctification issue. So you learn about eternal security that you can't lose it. It's logically consistent with the fact that Jesus Christ died for your sins and course. It's a logical quality of it. No question about that. But you're not thinking about the ish arguments against losing your salvation. You just know at that moment you're going to heaven because you trusted in Jesus Christ. And so the first thing to attack by Satan is the fact that once you have it, the two you can lose it. That's why most people, most most religions, teach you can lose it. And people get deceived into that. And they forget exactly. Well, if you die for all my sins on the cross, well, how could I lose it? That's the idea of the, idea of the three tenses of time, past, present, and future. But he's going to rip, you know, rip into me because I disagree more on this issue. And call me, you know, just this, this guy, you know, and he's nitpicking, you know, and it's not nitpicking. Nip nip I've got Arnold on my recommended pages. But people can't go around thinking eternal security. When you present the gospel to someone, you're presenting eternal security as part of the gospel, as Anderson does. So let's stop and put this up. Amen. Thank you.